In this video, I'm going to look at how we can use LibreCAD to solve a geometry problem. So to start with, let's have a look at the problem. Mind your decisions, I'm Prash Talwalker. In square ABCD, E is the midpoint of AD. Construct a circle between the three points E, B, and C. Which shape has the larger perimeter, the square or the circle? Okay, so how are we going to do this with LibreCAD? So to start with, we need to construct a square. Um, we can use the rectangle tool, and we're going to want to snap to the grid. So I'm going to turn on grid snap over here. And if you notice here, these values, I'm going to, I'm going to start over here and click. And now I'm in the process of drawing a rectangle, but I don't want a rectangle, I want it to be a square. For it to be a square, we need to, we know that this x value and the y value need to be the same. So I'm going to come out over here and make it about a 200 by 200 square. And then I'm going to click, and now I have a square. Now I want to construct the circle. So I'm going to use the circle tool, and the particular tool that I want is the three-point circle. Now in this case, I don't want to snap to the grid. So I'm going to turn off grid snap, and I do want to snap to the end points of lines. I'm going to want to snap to either this line point and this point, but I also want to be able to snap to the midpoint of this top line here. So I'm going to turn on middle snap over here. Okay, and that will then snap to there. So I'm going to start with my circle. I'm going to start with this point, click, and then click over here, and then click over there. And now I have a square and a circle as described in the problem. Now my question is, which one has the longer perimeter? And fortunately, LibreCAD has a measuring tool that allows us to measure the total length of a selected entity. So I'm going to choose that tool. And I'm going to click on the square and press enter. And if you see over here, it tells me that the total length of the selected entity is 800 um, units, which makes sense. Remember, we said that the square was a 200 by 200 square. So it's going to be 200 on each side times four sides. That gives me 800 units. OK, I'm going to press escape. And I'm going to now measure the total length of the selected entities. And I'm going to choose the circle and press enter and that gives me the total length of the perimeter of the circle 785.3982 millimeters which means that the square has the larger um, perimeter and that's it thanks for watching